It's the Million Dollar Organizer Show, tips for professional union organizers. Win more campaigns, balance work and family, and leave the competition in the dust. Now here's your host, Bob Odie. Hello, union organizers and future union organizers. Welcome to podcast episode number 49. Today's topic is using memes for union organizing. Before we start, let's define what a meme is. According to Britannica, a meme is a cultural concept a unit of cultural information spread by imitation. For our purposes, we're referring to an image or a video that makes a pointed statement and catches on. Memes often include some text and deal with a current event. Either way, it ends up going viral. This type of social media buzz is powerful. Thought contagions evolve. People start making their own versions, and the popularity can continue for a time. There are some popular apps out there where people spend hours and hours scrolling through photos and video clips, liking and sharing content. Some creators closely imitate popular influencers, even using similar audio and video elements. Be careful. Some people find memes to be highly addictive. Let's not get sucked into the meme vortex, so to speak. They say a picture is worth a thousand words, right? Well, how about two pictures, side by side, comparing management's perspective to that of the workers. Here's an example. A well-known sandwich shop is temporarily closed for business. The owner posts a printed note taped inside the window blaming a labor shortage. The workers responded with their own printed note taped on the outside of the window saying there's no labor shortage. Management treated the staff horribly and everyone quit. The workers cited specific examples of how they attempted to communicate their concerns but were ignored by the owners who live in another town. This photo has been seen by thousands of people all over the internet. And an example of solidarity with the fed up workers, it's been liked and shared by union members everywhere. Could we imitate this idea visually, showing management's perspective and comparing it with the workers? Of course we could. All we've got to do is look for opportunities. I saw another where a guy with sunglasses sees a sign that reads, you're replaceable. He lowers the glasses and the sign now reads, you're family, we respect you. Management is always going to claim we're like family here. This meme might be just the thing we need to counter such a claim. Imagine customizing it with the person wearing the company uniform or logo. It could be very powerful. There are tons of short video clips online showing the disrespect some workers are being subjected to. Are there opportunities to share similar concerns in your next campaign? Could you use social media buzz to raise the stakes and shift the balance of power in your favor? This idea of thought contagions is a study in itself. It became popular in the 1990s. There are classes you could take and entire books on the subject of memetics. In the interest of time, we won't get into it too much, but I do want you to understand that there are seven ways of meme transmission and another three ways that memes tend to evolve. It's also important to know that memes often have an expiration date. In time, they will lose their effectiveness. Hopefully, this has sparked your interest a little. I hope you do some research on the subject. Memes for union organizing. Others are using them. We can too. Are you interested in online training for union organizing? There's a brand new course created just for you. It's called Union Organizer Intensive. Just go to unionorganizer.net. That's unionorganizer.net. Use coupon code UNION, all caps, to save 25% instantly. That's unionorganizer.net. Thanks for listening. We hope that you'll subscribe to the show on Apple Podcasts or anywhere you listen to podcasts. Give us a five-star review and let us know what you'd like to hear the Million Dollar Organizer talk about. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Union Organizer. Thanks for listening, and we'll see you next time.